So I let go of the medium sized dog and he runs off and I'm like, fuck. <sighs> I don't even know where he went, but I can't focus on him right now. I have to focus on the one that's getting chewed up. Hi Cupcakes, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you about the time I got bit by a motherfucking boxer. Not like boxer, but... The dog boxer. Yeah. <laughs> this story takes place about a year ago. I was working through this dog walking app, and I'm not gonna say the app, but you probably already know what it is. It's really popular. They have like commercials on TV, but I'm not gonna tell you the name because I'm not trying to get sued somehow. I don't know. Just for my safety, I'm not gonna say the name. So the way this app works is random walks will pop up, and you can request different walks depending on if you want to walk that specific dog or if you want this specific time. So it's kind of like like inconsistent not only can you walk on this app but you can also board and you can also sit boarding is having the dogs over at your place for x amount of days and sitting is going over to the owner's house and sleeping overnight there so i was going to board three dogs for two weeks keep in mind this is my first time boarding so i didn't really know what to expect and i've never walked these dogs before so i didn't know how they were for 14 days she was going to pay me like 800 dollars or something like that which is actually like shit money if you really think about it but anyway so my thought process was i was going to board these dogs watch them take them out and then while having them in the house i would also go out and walk other dogs so i can like make a little bit extra money but what i didn't know was that these dogs were horrible <laughs> So the first dog was, um, I don't know what type of dog it was, but it was a mini dog. Um, it only had three legs. Uh, the second was a medium sized dog and the third was a boxer. So if you don't know, boxers are, you know, on the bigger side. Not as big as a Great Dane, but a bigger dog. Yeah, I don't really know how else to explain it. Look it up. So when the owner came and dropped off her dog, she like, you know, gave me all the food, their bowls, gave me some like poop bags or whatever, just everything that they needed and told me like when I should feed them, when I should take them out, blah, 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 right? While she's telling me this, um, the medium sized dog starts pooping in the house. Yeah, pooping in the house. So she was like, oh no, and like she's probably just scared or whatever. So then she kind of helped clean it up or whatever. And then we were talking a little bit more. And then he starts pooping again in like a different spot. And we're like, oh my God, are they not fucking house trained? Like I'm not trying to board these dogs if they're gonna fucking poop and pee in the house. So he already fucking pooped twice. And then the little one starts peeing and I'm like, oh my god, like, are you fucking serious? And then the owner was like, oh my god, I don't even know, like, they never do this, I don't know why they're doing this. And apparently they were actually outside dogs, so no, they're not house trained. She literally leaves her dogs outside in the backyard to do their thing. How can you say- Ugh, I don't even understand. She said they were house trained, but no, they're pooping and peeing in the house already, like, five minutes into getting inside the house. So I was, like, legit already getting stressed about it. So when they left, I was like, okay, like, we can handle this. The big dog, the boxer, started peeing on the couch. So I was like hella yelling at these dogs because they're so bad. They were so bad that I went to go pick up a cage. Yeah, I bought a cage off someone because they're that bad. I needed to keep at least the smaller two inside and I would just keep the bigger one inside the bathroom. I knew they were gonna pee and poop inside the bathroom because the bathroom is really tiny and dogs usually don't like to go bathroom um, if it's like a closed space because that's where they're gonna have to stand and sleep and sit and stuff. I kept them in the bathroom at night because they were just so bad um, So when I would go take them out Obviously from them pooping and peeing inside the house I already knew that they weren't trained So when I would, went to go take them out The boxer would like pull on me so hard So I would like yank him back To kind of like let him know Like no don't pull like that's not okay And they did get better a little bit over time I would take the two big ones out separately Than with the small one because it's just too many dogs. I didn't want the little one to get trampled on by the boxer and the medium sized dog. But yeah, so I would take them out like so many times a day because I did not want them to freaking poop or pee inside the house. So one day I was like, okay, if the boxer's gonna keep peeing inside the house, I'm not gonna give him so much water because I'm not trying to have like pee all on my furniture and stuff. The owner wanted me to give him like a gallon of freaking water and just leave it out for him. But it's like, 
Okay, you have to understand that you're asking someone else to take care of your dog when you usually have your dog outside. So whenever he wants to go pee, he just goes. So obviously when he's inside, he's just gonna wanna pee because he's not house trained. I give him water, don't get me wrong. So one day I was walking the two bigger dogs. They don't really do that great around other dogs. So the boxer, whenever he would see another dog or hear another dog barking, he would like run up to the dog, like up to the fence or whatever and start barking and stuff like that. And I would have to like yank them and pull them away. Two doors down from my apartment, there was this pit bull that was just in the yard of the house. And obviously it was like fenced off or whatever. So I was like walking past them and the pit bull starts barking and the dogs that I'm walking are like kind of pulling me towards the dogs so that they can like bark or whatever and I was like okay I don't have to worry about too much because the dog's inside the fence tell me why the fence wasn't closed off and the pit bull starts charging at us so I'm like oh fuck 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 like these aren't my dogs there's a pit bull fucking running at us of course bigger dogs like to go for other bigger dogs well for the most part. So this pit bull starts charging towards the boxer. So he's like chewing at the boxer's leg, right? And I'm like freaking out because I'm not trying to have this pit bull kill the boxer. And that's just, you know, I'm responsible for this dog. The medium sized dog that I was walking to, um, he was like trying to get away and stuff like that. But the pit bull wasn't really trying to go for him because he's not like that big. So I'm like this. So I'm trying to pull the boxer with this hand and I have the other dog on this hand. And I think my arms were like probably crossed or something like that. So this dog is like trying to run away, the medium one. And the boxer is getting chewed up by the pit bull. My hand's getting like twisted and shit. And so I'm like, okay, fine. Like I can't like hold on to both of these dogs because on this side they're like hella pulling and fighting and, and biting each other and stuff So I let go of the medium-sized dog and he runs off and I'm like fuck <sighs> I don't even know where he went, but I can't focus on him right now I have to focus on the one that's getting chewed up and while this is happening my slippers fling off my feet My phone flies across the street and I'm just here like, you know, trying to handle the situation You know, they tell you not to get involved inside a dog fight and what did I do? I get involved with a dog fight. In the moment, I wasn't thinking, I was just panicking and I was screaming for help. Like literally at the top of my lungs, I was screaming for help. And I was just screaming like, stop, stop. And like trying to hit the pit bull. I'm, I was trying to hit the pit bull on its face, on the back, but the pit bull is so strong that it wasn't even like faced. It was still biting on the boxer's legs. And the boxer was only two years old, so he actually wasn't even like trying to bite the dog back. I think he just wanted to escape. I also didn't want to like, you know, pull the tail or try to make the pit bull angry at me because I don't want to get bitten. So at one point, I kind of guard the boxer's face because I didn't want the pit bull to bite him. And the boxer got scared that he actually bit down on my hand. And so, yeah, it was actually the boxer that bit me, not the pit bull, but it was the pit bull's fault. So at this point, he's still chewing on him biting on his like his body biting on his legs and the owner of the pit bull walks out and i'm like hey get your fucking dog get your dog right now right because in this time it's happening so fast the dog's in fucking pain and i'm not trying to have him die the fucking owner is like limping towards you know the gate or whatever and she's like bring your dog over here that i can't hear anything so i'm just like yelling and the dogs are growling and barking and stuff and the boxer's like whimpering and she's like, bring your dog over here. And I'm like, what? She's like, bring your dog over here so I can get my dog. I can't walk over there. And she's like pointing at her ankle and she has like a foot brace or something like that. I'm like, bitch, if you can walk all the way from your door to the street, then you can walk like five more feet to get your fucking dog. So I had to drag the boxer all the way. And keep in mind, we're not even that far. We're probably like five, 10 feet away, but I have to drag the boxer to her so that she can get her pit bull while her dog is chewing and pulling at the boxer's leg. So literally, this is the boxer. I'm trying to pull him this way and the pit bull is trying to pull him this way. So I just feel so horrible for this boxer. Ugh, this is just so stressful. So then the owner almost got the dog, but then he like pulled him away a little bit more. So I had to pull the boxer again and she finally got her dog and like smacked him or whatever and got him away. Right when the dog released the boxer, I just grabbed my phone Phone, left my slippers there and ran inside. My heart was like pounding so much. My face was red and I was like freaking out. <sighs> my heart's beating so hard right now. I'm reliving this moment. <laughs>
Um, right when I go up to the stairs of my apartment, the medium-sized dog was actually sitting there and waiting for us. So he knew like where to go because like, you know, I walked him a couple times already. So he knew like which door to go to. So I was like, oh my fucking God, thank God. If I would have like, if the owner would have came back with her dog dead or, you know, chewed up with another dog missing, I don't even know like what I would do. I would probably cry, which is what I did. So. Right when I got to the door, I didn't even go inside yet. My, um, by the way, it was this hand. Um, wait, my hand's dry. <laughs> right when I get up to the door, I don't even go inside. I just sit on the floor and start calling the owner of the dog. And I'm like crying right now. Like I'm like freaking out because I'm like, the dog is bleeding, has so many dog bites on him. I don't want him to get like, rabies i don't even know what that pit bull has like if he has any like he probably doesn't because he's a house dog but like he's bleeding i don't want to get sued i don't want like i'm responsible for the dog so i told her what happened she was like wait wait slow down what happened and i was like a pit bull bit your dog and she goes what how did this happen and i was like i was walking them and this pit bull got outside the, its fence and she's like so mad not at me but at the owner of the pit bull because i told her that like i had to like pull the dog towards her dog to get him off she was like hella pissed at the pit bull owner because first of all like you should have your gate locked I get inside and my arms bleeding right um which I can show you this bump right here I don't know if you can see it it's like right there that was a puncture I had two punctures right here yeah you can kind of see the scar right there so I had one here two here i also had um i think i had one here or two here or something um and then i had a bunch of scratch marks on my arm from pulling the dog um my arm started feeling kind of like numb and tingly and i was like freaking out because i was like i don't want to get rabies or whatever the fuck i wanted to wait there until the owner got there because i wanted to make sure that she was able to get her dogs and that they were okay so after that i called my boyfriend at the time and i was facetiming him and i had the camera like away from my face and i was crying so i couldn't like really say anything and he thought i was laughing he was like ha 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 like what, what's happening and then he finally like realized that i was crying he was like wait what's wrong what's wrong and i was like by the dog i got bit by the dog like he was like what and i was like and then i showed him and he's like oh my god i'll be there right away and so like 20 minutes later they um he actually got there before the dog owners got there and after i called him i called the police i called um animal control because i was like mm-mm First of all, no, that dog is too aggressive. So we got there and he was like, let me take you to the hospital. And I was like, no, like I have to wait till the dog owner gets here. You know, I wasn't even really worried about myself. I was more worried about the dogs because I just wanted to make sure that he was okay. So once the dog owner gets there, I tell her what happens and she's like pissed, right? She's so fucking pissed because I got hurt in the midst of trying to save her dog. So we marched over to that lady's house, which was like two doors down. She comes out of her house window, which is covered by, it doesn't even have like glass. It just has like a sheet over her window. She like flips the sheet over and she's like, what? And she looks like a bum, like she legit looks like a hobo talking out of an abandoned warehouse or something. So the dog owner was like yelling at that lady and like I don't even know what was said because this was like over a year ago. But she was like, oh, are you going to pay for our medical bills? Like my dog has to go to the vet now. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'll pay for it. She's like, well, are you going to pay for her medical bills? Because she just got bit. And then she starts laughing. And I'm like, oh, hell the fuck no. She's like, I don't even know how she got bit. And then the dog owner was like, how do you not know your dog was literally biting and charging at them? So she was like, well, I said I was going to pay for the medical bill. So like, what? So what? So yeah, it was just like a whole argument or whatever. And like me and the dog owner were like debating on if we should sue her. But I don't think that she did and i never did because it was just like too much of a hassle and i just had other stuff to do and it was just gonna take too long i didn't know how to sue anyone so i actually never sued her um which i should have but you know it probably would have been like two separate cases because i was babysitting someone else's dog she actually had to pay like three to six hundred dollars i don't even know if that lady ended up paying for them um i have insurance so Mine didn't really cost that much, probably cost like $50 or something like that. But um, 
yeah it was just such a small amount that i didn't want to have to go through like, more hassle of having to find a lawyer and blah 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 blah. right so i called the dog walking app to see if i had you know insurance or whatever and they said no they only said that the dog i'm walking or babysitting or whatever has insurance i'm like are you fucking kidding me like what if something like that happens to me so i asked her like theoretically i'm like so what if this happened would i get you know insurance or blah 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 and she's like no unfortunately not like only the dog would why did something like this happen i'm like no no i'm just just checking in because i didn't want to get in trouble with the app which i don't even know why i would i probably wouldn't have because none of it was even my fault but i still felt like reliable and like responsible for the dogs and for the whole situation so i didn't want to like get them involved and the dog owner felt so bad because like i tried to save her dog that she was like you know what we'll just take them right now like we'll just take them back and i was only i probably only had them for like five days or something like that and um she was like it's okay like i'll just take them but i'll leave it on the app that way you still get paid she was actually really nice about it i had to go to the hospital i had to get my arm checked um i actually didn't end up going to the hospital after i got bit probably until like an hour or two later so i was like kind of freaking out because like my arm was like getting kind of numb and like i didn't know like if i broke my hand or something like that because the puncture wounds are pretty deep in there. Um, I'll insert some pictures somewhere on the screen, but yeah, they're pretty gross. So when I got to the hospital, they did some x-rays. I could barely like move my thumb, like my thumb was like the worst one. They said that they wanted to do some x-rays to see if it hit my bone, but luckily it didn't, it only hit um, like my tissues. So it healed up pretty good and um, I had to wear like the arm brace for like a couple, like a week or two and um, it was like really hard to drive. I probably shouldn't have been driving. It was my right hand and I'm right handed. So when I was driving, I had to drive with my left hand and it was like kind of hard, but I, you know, I needed to do it. So I wasn't able to walk dogs for probably like a week or two. And so I lost out on kind of a lot of money. But um, yeah, after I got healed up, I started walking dogs again. And my mom was like, so you're still gonna walk dogs like you're not scared to walk dogs anymore i'm like no <laughs> like it wasn't even the dogs that i was walking it wasn't even his fault it was a dog that wasn't in with the app because for the app you're not allowed to register your dog if your dog is like aggressive some of the dogs that i walk are actually you know a little bit aggressive sometimes they pull really hard sometimes they're just like bad or they jump on you or whatever sometimes they like to play tug of war which freaks me the fuck out because it gives me the same feeling of when the boxer pulled me towards um, the pit bull and the pit bull started running towards us so it just brings back those scary feelings but other than that uh, most of the dogs that i walk are pretty good um, the only thing is i just i hate when owners don't train their dogs to not pull or you know to not play tug of war with you when you're trying to walk them it's just kind of annoying but yeah i'm still dog walking right now um kind of like my main source of income right now because you know it's very flexible i can i can basically do it whenever i want to as long as they're available and as long as i get accepted but you know if i have a photo shoot coming up if i want to film a youtube video if i want to do my makeup or hang out with some friends or families in town i can request a cover if i need to or i can just not even request a walk if i don't want to if i have something coming up but yeah that was kind of like my crazy dog fight story i think now i'm a little bit more scared of pit bulls it honestly just depends on how their owner treats them and how they train them and whatnot she seemed like a pretty careless like angry person so you know no wonder why her dog was like untrained and aggressive and stuff let me know in the comments if anything crazy like this has happened to you before if you ever got bitten by a dog or an animal a cat, a squirrel, a, a, a giraffe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hit your post notification button to be notified of when I post new videos. Stay kicked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!